Hey guys, uh, in a couple of minutes, we're going to talk about the introduction and the conclusion, okay? This paragraph and this paragraph. We've already spent a good amount of time talking about these body paragraphs and how you put them together. Remember what we said, a body paragraph is just a standard paragraph. That's all it is. So all these elements that we've been talking about, these exercises we've been doing, these sentences we've been writing, are still going to hold true, okay? That body paragraph is a standard paragraph. These guys are a different story, okay? They're very different from each other and they're very different from body paragraphs because their function is totally different. We're gonna spend a good chunk of time just talking about how to put these guys together. Before we get into that, okay, before we do that, I wanna talk about this sentence right here, that thesis statement, that, that, that sentence that holds the whole paper together, that gives your reader important information and tells them the gist of what's going to come. That's what that thesis statement is doing. But how do you come up with that thesis statement? All right, let's talk about that for a minute. If you'll remember back to the beginning of this process, um, after I had you guys take notes, you interviewed somebody, you got the details of the story, you wrote them out in bullet points on a page, then we turned it into a mind map, and that's where we started to give it structure. This is where the essay actually started to take shape. And it started with this guy, right? The middle of the mind map had three elements where I wanted you to answer three questions. Who, what, and why? And I had you put that in there, and then I said, now let's move on. Now we're gonna tell the story. Now we're gonna fill in the details. There's the arteries, right? And all the details of the story. And that's basically, all that information is basically what fills in these three uh, body paragraphs. But I wanna go back, I wanna return and talk about these guys for a minute, because as it happens, the three answers that you plugged in to this middle part of the map right now, they're actually going to create your thesis statement. It's really an easy way of thinking how a thesis statement comes together, at least as far as this essay is concerned. It doesn't mean this is true for every essay, it's not. But for this essay, because it's a narrative story, and because it's about a significant event, a significant thing that happened to somebody, those three elements are what are going to make it clearer for your reader, basically, okay? They're gonna give us a purpose. They're gonna tell us the reason for this essay's existence, basically, is what they're doing. So again, I want you to return back to these three guys, and here's why. Taking those three answers and basically crunching them together, squishing them together into one solid element, that can be your thesis statement. And it's what I want you to do this time, okay? In future essays, it's not gonna be so artificial, you know? I'm not gonna say, okay, here's your thesis statement. You can be a little more creative. This time, because it's our first essay and because you might be a little rusty on these elements, I'm simplifying the process a little bit, okay? That's why we're doing it in these steps. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take those three answers and uh, squish them together into one good solid sentence and that is going to be a thesis statement. Remember, a thesis statement is just a general idea, a main idea of what your essay is about. Here's overall what I'm going to be telling you guys about. That's what the thesis statement is doing. So if you think of it, those three answers, now remember mine, my practice essay, who, what, and why. Jerry, had an appendicitis, and learned a valuable lesson about taking care of his health. That's it. If I can squish that into one sentence, that is my thesis statement. My buddy Jerry um, experienced a medical emergency and found out how important it is to take care of his health. Do you see what I did there? I took those three answers and I put them into one sentence, basically, and that's it. That is my thesis statement. It doesn't have to be any more complicated or any fancier than that. All I have to do is answer those three questions, and that is a thesis statement. So literally, right here, that's what I can write. My buddy Jerry learned a valuable lesson about taking care of his health when he had a medical emergency, okay? That's it, I answered the three questions, and that is that sentence, and that's what I want you to do, okay? Go back to your map right now, go back to your map, go back to those three answers that you came up with, and if you haven't done that yet, you really need to do it now. You're falling behind, okay? This is an important step. And if you're not sure what that number three is, which is probably the most important part of this whole thesis statement, well then get connected with that person, okay? Go back to them and ask them, what was the significance of this story? What lesson did you learn? That's a great way to get that answer out of them. Just ask them, okay, this thing happened to you. What did you learn from your experience? 
that's probably going to answer number three, the why. Why is it significant? Okay? So do that. Go back to your map. Look at your three answers. Put them together and see if you can construct a good thesis statement by taking those three elements and, and connecting them all together. Okay, that's going to your, be your thesis statement. Now, that's the brief lecture for how to come up with your thesis statement. Okay, if you're having trouble with it, just do that. Follow those steps. Take those three answers, stick them together, put them in a sentence, and that's it. That's that sentence right there. Now, I have another video I want you to watch, okay? And it's going to talk about the introduction and the conclusion. It's going to go into more detail about how to put these together, especially this guy. This paragraph in particular gives people a lot of trouble. That's where they stare at that blank page and they have no idea how to start. I'm going to give you a few pointers on how to get past that, okay? How to get something down on paper. Now, just so you know, the video about the introduction and conclusion, it's an older video. I made it a while back. But the, uh, the, the information is still relevant, so it's a good video. I still want to show it to you, okay? It's going to break down the process of coming up with these two paragraphs. The reason I'm bringing that up is because if there are any due dates mentioned, I don't think there are, but there are a couple of points where I might say, today I want you to do this and tomorrow we're going to do this. That doesn't apply to you, okay? So don't worry about that. You've got all week to work on these things, all right? Just like usual, most of these things are going to be due on a Sunday. That's pretty much how we're going to do the rest of this, okay? So on a Sunday is when these things will actually be due. So if I say something's due tomorrow in that video, ignore it. That doesn't apply to you. All right, so stay tuned, uh, watch the video, and we'll move on from there.